Welcome to the Cathedral Speed as we're at Mugello for the first minute to Italy of the season. And it's magnificent flowing, undulating circuit in the Italian hillsides. As it's go for that rounder as you break uphill all the way down, down to seconds. Breaks so late into that corner by approaching it very quickly. And through the left and the right, just Get on the power as early as you can through the right. Don't get on the green stuff though. And then the same for the left to right here. Get slow down through the left. And then start lift to the middle of the corner through the right. And then the wonderful Casanova section here. Downhill through the right. And then through the left. Make sure you're kind of speed momentum through there. And then once again, the double right uphill. Like in fourth gear. Quick shift to fifth, and then down the fourth again. Again, make sure you don't go too hard on the exit. And then the tight chicane on the circuit. All the way down to second for the first right. Or third. And then again, get on the power as early as you can. And then the most difficult braking zone here. Downhill. Good ever closing right hand uh, along that penny just on the outside so dusty if you if you do get it and then for the fastest chicane basically flat flat out through that and then heading downhill into the final corner this is getting into trouble Carlos has as on home turf, Badeo! Badeo! At the top ahead of the Leopards of Ankel and Adrian. In Fryoli again, another home favourite. Just beating out the MLAV guys. They crew the qualifying turn at Ogden and Watley. They got the Ritter, Luneto again, another home favourite. Rollstone. As Callis did not manage to set a representative time, so he just struggled in that session. He has got some work to do from the back of the grid. So here's an unfamiliar position for Callis this season, right at the back of the grid. Has uh, got away for seven laps in Italy. Let's see how far this up can get up the orders. He gets a much better start than one of their own favourites, Ferraro. Cross Wallstone as well, the Ritter. As he gets ahead of the road in front. Uh, so, didn't know where the Bowie Motorsports bike was going there. Kind of getting swarmed up in the mid packet. Here's Callis. You can see that going a bit slow in front. And it looks like Fernandez got pushed wide. Oh, it's his teammate, Mateo. How you doing? As Callis goes around the outside. <laughs> and up into 13. Oh, almost into the gravel. As first, Sato leads ahead of Halgado and Vaya. The guy's teammate, Suzuki in 11. Oh, that might count this. Don't get too excited on his opening lap. Still got six and a half le laps left to give us heart attacks. As he's over the back of the Leopard, it. Van Kale down the inside of the Red Bull Rookies champ. And the Junior Motor 3 champion. He might have helped his teammate. A day you'll get by. And David Munoz as well up into 14. You can see a group of 11 in front. See if Kaz can close this 7 tenth gap. Was going to have a mega toe down this front stretch as Joel Kelso battling for the low reaches of the top 10. It's like a stray and missing out there going a bit wide. That's allowed Suzuki by as well. Allow Kaz to close up. They end up opening that though. Oh, Elgardo's got Edo for his heart in the final corner. 
It's about to say, are we seeing the Japanese rider again leading? You know, and it's like the Spaniard back in front, and it's like for a Sato slip stream by. As Callis up to 12th, then from the back. Again, a beautiful toe on this front stretch pass. Was that Ortoda as well? Pass Esteban. Into eight. This all oh, goes a bit wide into the first quarter, though. That's okay, though. You can make a good run out of the first quarter, actually, running wide. It's like Kaya's trying to show that as he battles with the Aspot. Uh, Suzuki behind, and oh, the Swiss rookies down and out. That first corner is seen so easy to get too aggressive there. That's all Callis. Struggling. Three corners on this lap. Back down to tent behind Suzuki has. Oh, you saw right at the beginning. Far road oh, getting done for track limits. That's uh, Callis got the run on Suzuki. He's a bit held up by Esteban. Esteban just caught napping. He's double right there. No, I was saying that. Kaz has been caught napping on the, the exit. Oh, and he pumps Esteban now as well. Obviously, the sniper's rider, he's, he's in a racing mood. He's got the gloves on today. 1.3 second gap in front of Zabi, who's battling with his fellow KTM rider of Raider. That's for a start of these head of Vaya. Algado down to third is the Spaniard. As you can see, it's a group of seven in front as Esteban getting nicked in the chicane for track limits. That's kind of a nice smooth arc for that final corner. So despite some issues, he has made his way up to eight on this lap. A second header Suzuki, six tenths behind Zabi. It's a flood lap for two 1.7. Via same that time for a certain callus as well as his rival Fernandez gets done for track limits. And it's like Callis going to make his way down the inside of Spanish teenager, is he? Ooh, not quite. Oh, he's very countryman. He's got past Nepper into the top five as well ahead. That's Carousel over the back. Well, I believe the youngest rider in the field here is Abby. Literally just got out of diapers. So as you can see, he's running seventh in this race. Magnificent. Starts his motor free career. One of them. Very impressive group of rookies with Esteban. Of course, Callis as well. We've just nooked at home in this motor free class. See, it's having a bit better through that double right than Esteban was, though. This car is going quicker than his previous lap as well. Oh, Zabi, that's a poor line through there. Oh, and you get nicked by the stewards as well. And it's all tight as well into the right hander. That's it, Spaniard just struggling this lap. Same for the Italian as well, with another warning to his name. As you can see, the group of six just getting away from these two. Kaius needs to make a move. He's going to dream of a top five here in Magello as David Munoz into the top ten of Nepa. As there's a the toe, that's beautiful. And Kaius, great run onto the front stretch once again. As he sets a 2 a 1.8 this time, he's been very quick, very identical those two laps. Now can he close up to this top six as Fura Sato's taken the lead. From David Alonso now up to second, how God has been shoved down to fourth behind Vaya. We've got Nepo and Reza in front. That's Callis in pursuit. There's all oh, someone else is down in the first sector. That has to be the first corner. As Vaya gets done by the Stewards and it's Adrian Fernandez. As you can see, rival retired for Callis this race. So they're hard. Rider down on that first corner. So easy to, to do that. 
As we approach halfway mark of this race, and Cali's just in position now to... Looks like finish second for Asato, again taking the lead, and it's just running away from the opposition. Did this last time out in Catalonia, he's done this in what, France, in Kota as well, when the Japanese rider gets the lead, gets to the half head of the field. There's not much that stops him as, oh that's an aggressive move in front from Raider on the home hope of Nepa. This crowd no doubt rooting for their fellow countryman has not a warning as, oh Callis. Bit rough on the brakes. And Zabi is second behind, now got the attention of Zuzuki over his tail. As I'm not speaking of Italians, looks like Cuaro again with another. Warning, he must be getting closer on that penalty. As it's free wide in front for seconds. Uh, so Medeo, what are you doing mate? What are you doing? As Kaz with his fires is that by country. Well, on this side, he's got a beautiful toe on the two riders in front. As he dips into the two minutes, the fast up the race to 8.9. And he gets past Raider and Nepo as they were having their private battle. There's just switch teams by on the front stretch. Gets up into fifth. Now, he's got three more riders having a private battle. Elgardo, Alonso, Vaya. How quickly can he dispatch them and maybe even chase on down for Asato? I know the Japanese riders can see got a couple second lead at least. There's Joel Kelso. Getting caught by the track limits police. Uh, so that's a beautiful run. Downhill into Casanova. And Callis on the move on this fifth lap. Up into fourth, then ahead of the Dutchman. And now a good he's through these two right-handers as well. Really fancy a bite at Alonso. Well, you fight, fight Alonso around the outside. Not quite. Not quite. He's brave. Ain't that stupid yet. How about on the last lap? He's the same position. As yeah, for Asato, he's been kind of pulled back in this lap, in its like, by this chasing pack. Japanese rider, not Pulling away as you maybe would have expected. Again, strong toe here, Majado, on that front stretch. Maybe that is helping this chasing pack. A Japanese rider just con conserving something for the last few laps, as he saw with Suzuki and Perez earlier in the season. Let's go to the final quarter. Oh my god, all right, Vaya. Literally telling Callis to shove on. South Africa not very happy about that. Gets back up into fourth. And he's getting a double toe. Beautiful toe. Onzo now got us. He got to Bernardo at the race. He sets a new fast as that despite that shove. A two minute point seven. And 1.6 seconds up the road is for Asato. Ooh. Is that enough time to make it? Make up that gap? For the South Africa. And against this title rival. Now with these two. Top two in the championship. First and second. And there's Agado up to third ahead of Alonso via. In fear for Alonso getting getting caught. Still around 1.6, 1.7. Callis in pursuit. Unfortunately, he's just doing identical times to throw a Sato. Outside the top five, we've got Raider in sixth, Nepper in seventh, and Suzuki still stuck in eighth. He says Varna Ryder. He must be getting frustrated behind that Italian. That's all Canis is closing this lap for Asato. One point five the gap, one point four the gap. He's gained a couple of tenths then. Suzuki, maybe in his frustration getting caught by the track limits police. As we approach the final out of the race, a crowd anticipating a grandstand finish. Oh, but okay. All right, Caddis. Oh, it doesn't look like Freddy caught you on that one. 
wide asleep. The stewards there. Maybe they want a grand sad finish as well. As the gap is down to a second. Callis with another fastest lap in it's like as well. No way. There's one more lap of this magnificent Mejado circuit to go at 2 minute point six. He's just been getting quicker and quicker and quicker as the South African. Does he run out of time here? Just one lap to go. He's got over a second gap to Valle now behind ahead of Alonso and Halgado. Still Nepa, Raider and Suzuki outside the top five. As, oh, someone's gone down though. Who's that? Who is that? It's Esteban. Oh, one of the rookies. Oh, the Spaniard on the CF motor machine. Not making it to the end. As you can see how much Kaz is pushing. Oh, too much. It's like first sight has got a force field, doesn't it, this season? You get close to him, one of you are going down. In France it was first sight. So in Italy, it was Callis. Oh, the South African, no, from the back of the grid, though. Maybe would have taken seventh at the beginning of the race, but... The pace. The race he had as Fioli gets caught for Tramitz. And Coraro. Gets along that penalty in the final lap. That is very legitimate. Uh, and there's like first Sato win and Alonso in second. Shoves ahead of Vaya. He might even lose out on a podium spot here. Oh god, they get by. As once again, first Sato wins by 2.8 seconds ahead of Alonso. Valle does hold on ahead of Raider, actually, in fourth. Ahead of Nepo. Algardo must be disappointed with sixth. Just two tenths off a of podium. And Callis, the fastest man in the race, down in seven. Just pushing too hard as he's always getting quicker and quicker and quicker. And went too quick in the end. With Suzuki in eighth, Sabi Altola. Must be a bit disappointed with 10th ahead of Munoz and Kelso. It's the teammates ahead of Rossi, but Teddy and Yamanaka getting the final point ahead of Ankel. As you had three retirements as the Wheeler, Fernandez, and Esteban, all victims of that first corner, it seems like. So in the Riders Championship, first out of these by a race win. 25 points ahead of Callis, who retained second, 10 points ahead of Suzuki. He's his teammate, but yeah. yeah. Alonso, the big winner though, up five places into the top five with that superb podium ahead of Altola. And then we've got Helgado, Nepa, Zabi and Kelso as it is very close. As you can see the second half of the top ten with Razor and Munoz. Maybe keeping company ahead of Esteban now. We've got Rossi, Mateo in 15th ahead of Fernandez as it is. Oh, Yamanaka got his first point. As it's now just three riders yet to score points this season then. As in the team's championship has Varna still got 50 point lead ever on, on the team Asia. KTM up to third ahead of Snipers though. And Aspar ahead of Bowie Motorsports into the top five as well. Just like their rider Alonso. MT Helmets, MSI in seven ahead of Tech Free Gas Gas. Then level up. Cheers. CIP at Green Power, their part still having a horrid season 11th. Someone with Sync 58 as well, you expect them to be challenging for wins. So they're challenging for the wooden spoon along with M Lab Racing. Okay, he's got some development, I guess. Interesting. Choose your path. The summer break is the moment when you express your aspirations for next season. Do we stay in the current category or do we move on to Moto 2? I think for Callis, he has shown, you know, he's adapted quite quickly to Moto3. As I said, like you've seen with the likes of Esteban, Zabi as well. I think he'll maybe be looking at Moto2 next season. Even if he doesn't win the title, I feel like 
Moto 2 is probably more natural progression than sticking in Moto 3. So in the feed, and it's uh, lots of attention on Callis then as we head into a bit of a break for the Grand Prix field. First up is Suzuki. Callis has had to start the season expectations very well. We should try to find some solutions with the mechanics for the gap widens. No doubt, Suzuki. No doubt. And then we've got Bertelli as well on the summer break. Oh, finding Moto3 is taking break. We need it. It's been a tough first half of the season now. It's time to recharge the batteries. It's, it's not even been a half, Bertelli. It's been a third. What kind of category are you in? Is he just planning to take part in the first 14 races and then, you know, go on holiday for the rest of the season? And we've got the Dutchman as well, Vier. The places in the World Championship are limited. Not everyone can move over Cassidy. Rumours place on me against Callis are rather ridiculous. Certain things are not decided at the last minute. All right. All right, Colin. Rumours are rumours. In the end, what counts are the results on the track? I'm not sure if you really believe that or if you're just saying it to be on the safe side because you'll stay here anyway. Oh, all right, Callis. Let's upset the whole grid, shall we? As you can see in the paddock, you know, he's upset Vier and Autola. <laughs> and then we got Batelli, Suzuki, Alonso and Zabi putting up with his bullshit. And then he's nice to throw a Sato and a Helgada. Apparently they're going holiday together in this break. Hopefully Helgada comes back. 